Does Frank even use a filing system? I can't find anything around here. Top of the Thursday morning, P.O. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. P.O. Positive report. That's key. The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of, a few clouds early on, but they will be gone soon. Music time! Interesting. Hmm, I guess nobody's home.
dear. You're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, hi, Miss J... Mildred. How so? Is something wrong with the cats again? It's just... Uh, this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening. But I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. But what do you mean he needs to bring you an envelope? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Don't worry, I'm sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy, always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? Sure, no trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. lighter than I thought. Meredith, look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It's mine, actually. Mickey and June gave it to me. You know, that young couple down by the lake campground. Whoa, really? That's so tight. Here, they left this note on the driver's seat. Oh, let me read it. Life's a journey and not a destination. Just grab the wheel and enjoy the ride. Love, M and J. So, what are you going to do with it? You have to hit the road. I don't know what I want yet. I was hoping it could stay here for a while. You can tinker on it too. You know I'd love tinkering, but it's going to need a lot of work. It can stay here for as long as you need. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while... I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the Sea Turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the Raccoon, because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. Or... The Hermit Shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... The Raccoon. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye. Want to know a fun history fact? The first automobile was built in 1769 and was steam powered.
it's heavier than I thought. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes, <laughs> this is good stuff. Excuse me, sir? No, oh, for Christ's sakes, go away. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You must have me confused with someone else, sir. Oh, bloody heck, do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away. How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? Do you know the Postal Service motto? Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night, so on and so forth. But no one ever added neither rudeness, nor arrogance, nor insults, last I checked. <sighs> I... I do beg your pardon. I... yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, ma'am. You didn't know anything about me before you started shouting, and yet you did it anyway. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just, I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here, and Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch and uh, thank you. Now, was that so hard? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? For Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait. I got it. And then he says...
Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Yikes, you creep! Uh, you keep giving me jump scares. What? I mean, excuse me, sir. Slip of the tongue. Good afternoon. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. I see. Well, thanks for the help. Where are you going now? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Hello? Hi, Em. It's me, Kay. Oh, hi, Kay. Good. You're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, brain. <laughs> sure. What's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's journey so i'm like i need to go tonight and i got these tickets ages ago and it's a long drive to portland so we'll probably be out all night and i promise you i've called everyone and their brother besides they're really good kids to watch tonight whoa, 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 whoa. can i get a shortcut to the question <laughs> yeah sorry you're totally right i'm blabbering on r and i okay don't freak out you got this all right recap Journey tonight in Portland, got tickets, sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, you serious? That would help me out in such a big way! And I would owe you big time. Huge! No problem. So, what time do you need me? You're a lifesaver. As soon as you can make it. You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit. All right. See ya. All right. Who wants s'mores? <laughs> 